Welcome to Real Green World. That's right, the show where we talk about green. For the rest of us. Yeah, for you and me and anyone else who drives an SUV. No judgment here, we both own one. We both eat fast food. Have a ton of kids. Look, Katie Dubu, let's stay on topic. The point is, this show is about green. That's what this is all about. If it's not green... For your wallet. ...and the environment... Then it don't count. Because last time we checked... They're both green. So, here we are. Here we here are. are. Another week. We are on my back deck. Park City, right behind us. Deer Valley, actually. Deer Valley out here. You can see that behind us. It's been snowing. It's the end of April. And it just won't stop. Fresh snow. <laughs> There's nothing like... We actually little, had to scrape off the table. Nothing like a little fresh snow at the end of April to remind you that in Park City, summer is a privilege and not a right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we got a, kind of a cool show today. Yeah. Um, we're going to do kind of the recycle thing. This is, um, well, you guys know her as WebChick. I think this is the first time you've been on camera. It is, This yeah. is WebChick, officially. I've you guys ought to camera. stand beside each other, because you guys are married ones. I've done the camera before, but never been in front of it. <laughs> yes, April Fool's camera girl. That's yeah. right. So, so Carrie is going to show us today how to recycle t-shirts sure. into yarn. Yarn, yeah. And they're really make. cool, because you can make... Um, if you know how to knit or crochet, once you make the yarn out of the t-shirts, you can make grocery bags that you can use and put in the washer and dryer, oh. um, which is, because a lot of those recycled grocery bags, you know, you can't wash them. Yeah. And not the recycled yeah. ones, but the, like, the plasticky ones that you right. buy to use over and over again. Because they break down, right? They break down, and you yeah. can't really wash them. So, they get, they get um, kind of gross. the fabric ones are better, so you can do that, you can make oven mitts, you can, really anything you'd make out of a yarn, you can make with the t-shirt yarn. So, so what, are, cool. what are you going to show us today? How to make t-shirt yarn. Okay. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Dennis is going to so, okay. start off reading the camera here, and, uh, here, let's, let's let him bring it over here. Okay, well, let's we'll set this up. Show you what you're doing. Okay, you want me behind you? Just to the left, I think, probably. All right. All right, so the first thing you do is you just take a t-shirt, you know, that's like a t-shirt that a used one, clean one. And is that my Pink Floyd t-shirt? Yeah. But it's you cut up my Pink Floyd t-shirt? You gave it to me. So you just kind of fold it in half, and with scissors, or if you have one of these handy-dandy thing would be, this is a rotary cutter, you can just cut it off right there. Show us how that works. Show <laughs> You go We're like guys. this, and you roll it like this. Can you do it? No, I already did it. That's oh. the whole point. Okay. So then you have <laughs> this part of the t-shirt, which is... I want to see the pink foot side. Oh, that's on the top, see? <laughs> this part, you can um, you can also wear this. Now you can wear this to the gym to work out like they used to, the guys in the 80s. <laughs> that yeah. is a 80s Pink Floyd shirt for sure. You can wear that to the gym to work out. You're wearing that to the gym next time you go. Okay. Yeah. In about four years. Old man's half shirt. And so then you have like a two. Okay. okay. It's best if you can get a t-shirt that doesn't have side seams. Because lots of, some t-shirts have side seams, some don't. So then you take the t-shirt and I've already done a couple strands. And you just got the tube and you just fold the tube up on itself. This is the easiest way. You're going to show us how to cut a strand? Yeah, and then when you have, it's e you can use a ruler, but if you have one of these mats, it's all measured off. It's easier. You can either do it like this with your little cutter here. Show us the cutter. Yeah, I want to see Okay, the cutter so see, I'm doing it at one inch intervals. Guys like tools. All right, and you press really hard because you're going through several layers of fabric. And you get up to, did it even, yeah, it worked. To about there. Nope, not all the way. I use the scissors till right here. See how it's still mm -hmm. attached? Still attached. But I did it this way because I think it's kind of easier. If you have really sharp, really good. See, like I was scissors, saying, guys like tools. Yeah. These are like Fisker fabric scissors. They're like 15 or 20 bucks. So. Okay, Fisker, you're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fisker, get the logo there. Yeah, they're advertising. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, and then when you're done with that, what you'll have is sort of like this tube. Well, it's like a, it looks like a grass skirt. It does. Okay. And then it's still connected about an inch or so on the top because we didn't cut that far. Then you just want to kind of put your arm through the tube. Through, yeah, where it's still connected. See how it's connected? Mm-hmm. See, this has a side seam, which is not as good. And then you just cut 
diagonally like here. Oh, so you're making a continual yeah, length. Yeah, continual length and you cut all the way across like that. Across like that, diagonally. I have one sort of down to the very link. So now I'm keeping the right of this. Oh, can you see them? Yeah, yeah. So, try to get sort of this one. How far are you going to do it? I don't know. Charlotte, don't you have any note? She's definitely, this one being named after the whole thing. I don't know if it's that way, it's probably about it. There's a speed spot on it. Oh, we just speed it up with a sweet. We just have a lot of music. Yeah, sure. Alright, so. This is kind of not good. But. So then, now see, it's really long. You can get a man's large t shirt, you can get like nine or ten yards of yarn. Wow. Yeah, so let me find the end of it and show you what you do because it's not done yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then it's just one continual, it's about 30 feet long probably. And then you have to take it and you have to yank it like this. Oh, okay. And if you see it curls up, uh huh, kind of, and then you can, you just give it a yank as you go down, and it kind of curls around itself. And it like becomes yarn. And it becomes like a like strand. A yeah, like a tube. See? Let me show you this. This is like way cool. Yeah. It looks like those cork so watch, watch. corkers things. See? see? How it does yeah. that? You remember yeah. corkers for your glasses? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember? Yeah. Croakers. Uh, croakers. 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 Yeah. Man, that was a company so, that took off and disappeared fast. It's like a bulky. So it's like a bulky weight yarn. From them. Hey, we're still here. We're still here. <laughs> well, if you are still here, you owe us money. And then you. Can we just, just advertised you. <laughs> make all kinds of stuff for you know with it. Like you can use like regular yarn, and it's really strong. And but when you cut this, when you're cutting up the t-shirt, don't go any thinner than like half to three quarters of an inch because then it won't have enough strength st stability in the fabric okay. but see t-shirts don't they don't fret and this is this is why you should use or you know the t-shirts yeah, without see, the seam yeah because the, the seam is i mean you can it'll yeah. still you can work crochet through it. And, yeah yeah you know it'll still be fine but it just um so once you do this and um, people are, sell balls of this on etsy for like six or seven sometimes eight bucks and it's um, really cut up t-shirts? And it's just this. To wow. Save, to save so, you literally like the five minutes you just spent yeah, doing this? Yeah. Uh, the wow. episode is nine minutes so far right now. Wow. Including our opener. And the introduction. Wow. Well, you're going to cut it up. This is pretty quick. I know, but like... Oh, you're saying how long it takes yeah. to do this? Yeah, this well, is like... Well, I had it pre-cut too, so... Yeah, yeah. But, you know, so you just yank it. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same width or, you know, just generally... You can have, there's a lot of room for error, so that's how you make the yarn. I don't have anything made out of it right now, but if you go and search t-shirt yarn projects on Google, you'll get thousands of ideas. Well, we'll bring you on like another episode it. and you can show what you made with it, you know, like a follow-up episode. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So <laughs> what's, what's your website? Because you make crocheted things and sell them and you also like have... I have a blog, which is... Um, oodles for noodles dot blogspot dot com but it's number four not f o r okay and i'm on facebook with the same thing oodles for noodles uh -huh. and etsy same. and etsy oodles okay oodles for noodles we'll put all those links on yeah. our page so you can okay. go see the stuff that cool. she does yeah and i have other and then when you get you kind of got to get rid of the um oh yeah the bottom the of the bottom shirt of yeah so but that's it so any ideas on what you can do to recycle that piece right there um, you can use it as a strap for a bag. Headband! Maybe. Now you can wear that to the gym along with the shirt. Yeah! And you match. How totally See? cool you are you? You can get Lorelai. Lorelai's got a half shirt on. Do I look like Mike Reno? Oh, yeah! Do I look like Mike Reno? Sure. From, uh... You know me in names. Mike who? Uh, do we do business Lover with him? Loverboy! Loverboy! <laughs> From... From Loverboy. From Canada. That's okay. Canadian. Yeah. I am a Canadian. I still don't remember names. Sorry, guys. You, you do. I didn't know he was Canadian. I knew that uh, much. Now, so look. where's your half shirt that goes with it, dude? My half. The half shirt is... Right. No, 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 no. The matching the half shirt. Where did it go? Right here. The pink Floyd one? Yeah. On? Oh, it's not the matching one, but that's all right. Put it on. Oh, no. Got to cover up that Syracuse thing. You're going to look like Rocky, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't have the top of this. It's just... No, it's 
<laughs> I know they call those hoodies now, but at the time of the first Rocky, that would have been a kangaroo shirt. Yo, Adrian, where's the rest of my shirt? <laughs> right. And then you can just roll the little ball just like yarn, see? And then we'll see, I don't know what I'll make with it. Maybe I'll make a grocery bag. Okay. So that's it. That was great. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thanks, Grant. What you see in the camera here? All right. That's super cool. Yeah. So, way to recycle. Yeah. Real green meter. It's actually inside. Oh, yeah. We got a oh, real green meter. Oh, no, no, no. Pretty green. Okay. We have an assist. I'm gonna stage in. <laughs> We're getting pretty high tech. We got assistants, stage hands, Good. cameramen. Okay, you gotta put your arm through that seal. Yeah. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Okay. Okay. So, what do you think? I'm thinking this way. Yeah. Probably right about. Yeah, that's pretty green. That's pretty green. Yeah. You know, the only thing that would make it more green is if she could have used the end of the t-shirt. I know, that's the problem. And what, actually I'm going to move this back a little bit because that was my Pink Floyd shirt that she thought of. So it was ungreen. Yeah. If, if it had been something else, yeah. like a Beavis and Butthead shirt, <laughs> it would have been like this green. Yeah, that would have been way up. That would have been off the top. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stay tight. All right. All right. So that's our show for this week. Have a green M&M. This is road. sweet. <laughs> that reminds me. I uh, hope this week's show got you more excited about doing something green for the environment and, uh, and your wallet. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Real Green World. Until next week. <laughs> and you look in your wallet. Think about the trees. There aren't many in Utah, but think about them anyway. <laughs> I'm Piper. And I'm the Deuce. And uh, that's this week's show. <laughs> See ya. Want to do a uh, <laughs> circle? We can do it. Yeah. Here's the view, Jordanella Reservoir. Of course, in Utah, we call reservoirs lakes. Piper's Siding. You don't have much to More of Piper's Siding. More of Piper's Siding. Piper's Barbecue. Web Chick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.